Hey there, movie fans. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, everybody uh, for your great support and your wonderful um, reactions that I received on my last video, which was the movie room overview video. Um, <clears throat> I, I was suspecting some, uh, you know, some reactions, but not that many. It was uh, a bit overwhelming, to be honest. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, in the uh, overview video, I said that I'll be doing a series of videos, uh, in which I'm going to show you my entire DVD collection. And this is going to be part one. And um, we're going to start over here. And the first one I'm going to pick out is the Dark Crystal, this is the collector's edition, which has all these uh, goodies inside. And this is the Cecil B. DeMille collection. Uh, Cecil B. DeMille, of course, is the legendary filmmaker. Uh, I think his best known work would be uh, The Ten Commandments. And he also directed the original silent version of The Ten Commandments. And this set contains um, five of his early uh, movies, The Silent to Cross, uh, Four Frightened People, Cleopatra, uh, The Crusades, and Union Pacific, which is uh, my favorite Cecil B. DeMille movie. And over here we have uh, Stanley Kubrick's uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. These are, um, I don't know exactly how you call this, but I think you call it, call it the classic collections. Uh, so it kind of started with the three Kubrick movies I have, 2001. Uh, this is a Clockwork Orange, Full Metal Jacket, uh, Quentin Tarantino's um, Pulp Fiction, and over here we have Amadeus, the director's cut, uh, Citizen King, Orson Welles' masterpiece, uh, Enter the Dragon, the classic Bruce Lee movie. Uh, this is uh, Jaws, the 30th Anniversary Collector's Edition. Uh, I was actually very lucky of getting this in time. Um, it was sold out very fast, actually. And I don't know how much of these had been made, but um, I'm glad I got it in time and, and for a very cheap price, too. That's uh, a beautiful, beautiful set. One of my all-time favorite movies, uh, Lawrence of Arabia, uh, The Longest Day, uh, Ocean's Eleven. Uh, this is Once Upon a Time in America, uh, Out of Africa, beautiful movie. Uh, Singing in the Rain, you know, every time, if, if I feel down or a little depressed I always pop in this movie in my DVD player and I'm just you know happy you know it's it's, it's the ultimate feel-good movie to me uh, it always makes me happy wonderful film uh, Taxi Driver a great film uh, American Gangster by Ridley Scott this is the three disc collector's edition and this is uh, the first complete season of Steven Spielberg's uh, Amazing Stories. I'm still waiting for the other season. Um, why haven't they released the other season yet? Uh, maybe because this this wasn't sold much or I don't know. I'm, I'm still waiting for the other season. I, I'm hoping that they're going to release that as well. Um, now here we're going to going to the regular D, uh, DVDs up here we have 10, ta uh, 10 things I hate about you which is a nice high school comedy uh, 21 uh, this is 100 feet with uh, Funky Janssen and if I press here I can't fucking believe it it doesn't work anymore I think the battery is out. 
uh, 100 Years of Horror, this is the complete collection, which is a, a series of, um, you know, documentaries about the history of the horror movie, hosted by um, Christopher Lee. 101 and 102 Dalmatians. Uh, 11 9 which is actually 9 11 I don't know why they call it the the um, 11 9 because we also call it 9 11 but this is of course the documentary uh, by the two French brothers they want to make a film about the um, about a fire department uh, somewhere in New York but it ended up being the most important um, documentary about that tragic day uh, 12 angry men this is the uh, collector's edition uh, I'm also planning to get the um, criterion blu-ray um, 12 monkeys uh, the 13th warrior with uh, Antonio Banderas uh, 1900 aka Novacento uh, great great film Bernardo Bellucci. This is uh, one of my favorite Disney movies, uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Uh, 21 Grams, a great film. Uh, 25th Hour, Spike Lee movie. Uh, 28 Days Later. 28 Weeks Later, which I actually like better than uh, 28 Days. Uh, up here we have Across the uni uh, uh, I'm sorry, Across the Universe, uh, which is the film I haven't seen yet. Um, the Disney classic Alice in Wonderland. And this is um, The African Queen. Uh, I also have this on Blu-ray, but uh, the reason I um, have this one as well is because it has the audio commentary by Jack Cardiff who is the director of um, cinematography um, The 300 Spartans now this is the movie that inspired Frank Miller um, for you know for the um, graphic novel that he did 300 and Zack Snyder of course made a movie on that so it, it all started with this one uh, 310 to Yuma, which is the original version with Glenn Ford and Van Heflin. Uh, you have the remake with Christian Bale and Russell Crowe. Uh, four months, three weeks, and two days, which is uh, a, a wonderful um, uh, Romanian uh, movie. 50, 55 Days at Peking with Charlton Hassan and uh, David Niven, great film. Uh, Seven Men From Now. Now, this is uh, an, an excellent uh, western. Uh, this is one of the seven westerns that Randolph Scott made with director Bud Bedeker. And uh, he made, you know, he made them in the, um, in the 1950s. And this is the best movie uh, together. And uh, Lee Marvin is, is brilliant in this film. If you, have, if you are a Western fan, you have not seen this one, do go check it out. It's really, really great. Uh, 800 Bullets, which is a Spanish movie, kind of like a homage to the Spaghetti Western. About Schmidt, uh, wonderful performance by Jack Nelson. Uh, the Abyss, this is one of the first Region 1 DVDs I ever had. Ace High, which is the um, Spaghetti Western with Eli Wallace, and it's also the first movie which stars uh, Bud Spencer and uh, Terence Hill. Uh, Ace in the Hole by Billy Wilder, A fantastic film. Across 110th Street, this is one of my favorite black exploitation movies. Uh, the Adventures of Robin Hood, A great classic film, this one. Afro Samurai, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, this is uh, Alexander, the Oliver Stone movie. Alfie, the original Michael Caine one. Um, I didn't really care much for the uh, Jude Law remake. These are another you know, two alien 
box set. This is the first one I I bought. This is the Dutch edition, which has a cool alien on the cover. And this is of course the um, the alien quadrilogy, almost famous, the bootleg cut. Uh, along came a spider. Alphaville by Jean-Luc Godard. Still haven't seen this one. Um, this is a Dutch animation movie that I grew up on. Um, it's called Als je begrijpt wat ik bedoel, which uh, in English means uh, if you know what I mean, or if you know what I'm talking. No, if you know what I mean, that's that's what it means. Yeah, I, I grew up in it, and I still I still love this uh, animation film. Up here we have American Pie, the ultimate um, edition. This is kind of like the uh, digi pack. American Pie 2. Um, Annie Riddick, which is basically um, the short animation movie that goes between um, Pitch Black and the Chronicles of Riddick. Uh, you know, th this movie is better known as uh, Dark Fury. And so a wonderful one disc dishy pack from uh, Korea. And this is Alma Film or All Film, uh, a Dutch documentary series about the Dutch cinema. Um, over here we have Amelie, uh, American Beauty, American Psycho. American Splendor. I, I I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, um, but uh, when I saw it, I, I really loved it. I saw Paul Giamatti was, was great in that one. Uh, Amsterdam, which is kind of like a Dutch cult classic. Uh, you know, it's a, a Dutch giallo. Uh, yeah, I've always enjoyed this one. Uh, Analyze this. The Andromeda Strain, which in my opinion is the best m movie about a deadly virus. Anger Management. Um, I'm not an um, Adam Sandler fan to be honest, but I am a Jack Nicholson fan and that's why I have this. Ants. Apache. Uh, Apocalypse Now, the complete dossier. Apollo 13. Le Pont uh, this is a great, great suspense thriller. Uh, there's also an American version, which is called Wicker Park, but I would prefer this one, because this has a much better ending. Uh, Appleseed, this is the um, Region 1 steelbook, and this is the Japanese box set. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I will be doing a video of, of all the anime movies that I have, so... I'm going to show you more of this. Up here we have American Wedding, which is part 3 in the series. Uh, here is Arachnophobia. Uh, very entertaining film. Arlington Road, uh, which has one of the best endings I've ever seen. Uh, uh, Armageddon. Army of Darkness. There's another Army of Darkness. Uh, the UK one. Army of Shadows. Uh, great film. Assassins. Uh, not to be confused with the Stallone movie. This is a, um, a French movie about a, uh, you know, an old hitman who wants to retire and he has to train a younger uh, hitman. Um, this is a film by Matthew um, Kazovich, who also directed uh, La Hen. Uh, assassinations, um, Japanese samurai movie. I haven't seen that one yet. The assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. This is the uh, the UK uh, digi book. The assassination of Richard Nixon. Um, a great performance by uh, Sean Penn. Uh, John Carp John Carpenter's uh, Assault on Preacher Thirteen, and the remake. Atlantis, The Lost Empire, 
uh, which is a very underrated Disney movie. Uh, Audition, one of Takashi Miike's best movies. Avalon, um, this is truly a great, great film by the director of Ghost in the Shell, Mamoru Oshii. Um, you know, it, it takes place in, in a virtual world, very similar to The Matrix. And, uh, you know, if you've seen The Matrix and if you love it, then you need to check out this one. This is a uh, wonderful, wonderful film. Avalon. And Martin Scorsese's The Aviator. Uh, up here we have Basic Instinct. It's kind of like the, the ice pack. Bellissima by Luciano Fisconti. I have not seen this one yet. Battleground. And Beauty and the Beast. This is the other print uh, UK digi book. This is the Japanese version of uh, Azumi. Oh. This is a wonderful um, you know, samurai movie. Uh, this contains the longer version of, uh, of the film. And this contains the, the shorter international version of uh, Azumi. Uh, Azumi 2. Dead or Love, uh, Babylon, of I'm uh, oh, sorry, Babel. Uh, this is of course the uh, great, great film by Alejandro Gonzalez in uh, in in yeah. <laughs> this is the uh, uh, the um, Dutch dishy pack, wonderful release. Also comes with the second um, disc about the making of the movie. Uh, Backdraft, Bad Boys, Bad Boys 2, uh, The Bad Sleep Well by uh, Akira Kurosawa. This is uh, Bad Taste. It has the, uh, you know, the kind of lenticular cover. I don't know if you can see that a little bit here. And the number of this one is, um, here it is. Uh, 480 out of 50,000 uh, very low number that's nice the bag man which is also sort of like um, bad taste uh, very fun French movie Bambi Bangkok dangerous this is the original version um, there's also a remake with Nicolas Cage the barefoot Contessa Batman Begins this is the uh, deluxe edition which has a small comic book inside. Batteries not included. Uh, Battle of Algiers. Up here we have Best Laid Plans, which is uh, which is pretty good. Uh, this DVD only cost me one euro, so could not complain about that. Bicycle Thieves, uh, wonderful, wonderful film by uh, Vittorio De Sica. And here we have uh, Ben Hur. Um, Battleship Potemkin, uh, one of the most important movies in the history of cinema by Sergei Eisenstein. Here we have the two um, Maria Bava box sets from Anchor Bay. The Bear, which is a beautiful, beautiful film. I really love this one. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. Uh, Ray Harryhausen classic. The Beast Master. And finally we have Before Sunrise and the follow-up Before Sunset. And that's it for this shelf. Uh, I'll be doing the next shelf in, I don't know, some time. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.